you are wearing a detached skirt and you're trying to figure out how to wear it two ways to where you can have your cathedral veil and the volume in the back like you see here but you're also wanting to wear it as a ball gown in this video i'm going to walk you through how that's going to happen what your skirt needs and even modifications that you might need and alterations now that you're able to see with the veil let's take the veil off so we can get down into the details I'm going to start removing all the layers and pieces, but you're going to notice here, we're going to put a clear snap on either end of your belt so it can snap on the finished product. It's very important to add the clear snaps to the bling so that your satin belt is covered with the sparkle, but this allows you to wear this two ways. The overskirt is not meant to be worn two ways, but you can manipulate this through alterations by adding those clear snaps. You'll be able to wear it over your skirt, but then a few inches down from your waistband, you're gonna have the overskirt waistband. I'm also gonna show you later in the video how to wear it the second way. You're gonna use these straps to go over, and what you'll do is hold them here, And then you'll fold this down and now you'll put this on like this. Every single Wednesday, I post a new educational video about bridal, wedding dresses, alterations, the whole process. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you every Wednesday. And you'll have a little clear snap here and a clear snap here. which will correspond with here and here. And you'll be able to put those here. You will notice that your belt will have long ribbons. You won't need those ribbons since you're not tying the belt on. So you'll cut those off during alterations with your seamstress. And now it's all on. So good. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about this style? Before we move to the next style of the overskirt, I wanna hear your thoughts on this way of wearing the skirt. You love a good close up, so let's get into the details. Can you see here how the belt will be snapped onto the sash? Your seamstress can add some clear snaps to the center, but you might find that just having them on the ends will work. Add as many as you need to feel secure on the wedding day. And then she'll also add them to the other way, which is here. Here's how you'll wear the skirt over the entire dress to make it look like a ball gown. You'll also have clear snaps on the front of this and you'll wear it two ways. I've also included my contact information in the description box as well as other helpful links and products that I'm showing you here today. If you are a phone call person, let me know and we can get together and plan your appointment.